What's going on, y'all? So I want to show you my process for printing tracks back into Studio One when I'm using analog gear. Uh, therefore, I can bypass having to recall my analog gear when I pull a mix back up. So if you mix in a hybrid uh, analog digital world and you're using analog gear in Studio One or any other DAW, uh, the one of the or the biggest downfall and con to using analog gear is you have to recall it. And you know, by recall, I mean set everything back the way you had it. Uh, so you know, just a scenario here, let's say I'm doing a mix for client A and I use my Mog EQ2 and then I start a mix for client B and I want to use the Mog EQ2 again on that mix, uh, I've got to change the settings for it. So now I've got two different settings on two different mixes. Then client A wants me to pull his mix back up and uh, make some changes. And I've got to set the Mog EQ2 back to the way I had it for client A. Uh, that's dealing with recall. And what I do to avoid having to recall my gear all the time is I print it back into Studio One. And I do some other things here that I'm, I'm going to show you here. So uh, this is a mix from an artist named Cameron Bass. And the bottom of the session, you see I've got uh, six tracks. I've got the process guitar, process lead vocal, and process hook lead. And below that, I've got the raw. And what the raw is, is just the um, untouched, uh, unprocessed, uh, you know, no plugins, nothing like that, uh, tracks. And I, I keep this here at the bottom, and you know, of course I, I mute it uh, while I'm mixing. But the reason I do this is when I print my track back in Studio One and it goes through my analog gear and I have it recorded processed, now I have a WAV file of that track processed by my analog gear. Now I can do whatever I want with the analog gear because I have, I've captured that sound in a WAV file in Studio One. Uh, in this mix, I used a fair amount of analog gear. On the guitar, I used... Um, the API 560 and the Empirical Labs Mic E. Uh, on the lead vocal, I used the JDK V12 for compression and the Kush Electra uh, 500. And on the hook, I used the DBX 560A and the Warm Audio EQ PWA. So, and these are the tracks that I've recorded back. And the way you do that, once you've, uh, if you don't know how to use Pipeline, look at my video for, for Pipeline, for how to use Pipeline to use analog gear with Studio One. But once you've got that, if you go into your uh, export, and we want to export stems, you've got a choice between channels and tracks. On channels, you can export your buses. So with this, I have uh, exported the lead vocal, uh, the guitar, and uh, the hook lead. And you'll notice that a uh, real-time processing is grayed out. That's because it's going to have to record through your analog gear in real time. You can't bounce offline if you're using uh, analog gear. So once that uh, bounces down, it's going to bounce uh, the length of the song. And it's going to record. And you know, if you leave this, uh, where is it, import to track selected, it's going to import that process track uh, back into Studio One. Uh, which I've, I've done here, and I've labeled it processed. So now, and I'm just going to go ahead and play a little bit of this uh, too. So this is uh, just the beginning of the song, just the raw file, and then I'll show you the process. I don't think you're ever coming back I thought our love was on the right track And this is the processed. I don't think you're ever coming back I thought our love was on the right track And one more time, the raw I don't think you're ever coming back I thought our love was on the right track Alright, so here we go. Nice uh, laid-back tune. This was uh, produced by my man D. Lyles. Uh, you know, good vocal sound on the raw track, but of, you know, of course we wanted to enhance it with EQ and compression. So now that I have uh, the processed uh, tracks here, I'm going to go up to the top of the session where I've got another copy. This is where I've actually 
uh, mixed of the lead vocal here, the guitar, and uh, the hook lead. And you'll notice down here in the mixer, this is where I've got my sins. I've got a uh, vocal and delay going on. So of course you didn't hear vocal and delay going on on these bottom tracks. So to, in order to get uh, these process tracks to replace these tracks, I still wanna keep them. I don't wanna, just in case I need to revert back to them, I always wanna keep a copy and that's why I've got a copy at the very bottom of the session. So we can switch to the mute tool. We can mute these because I won't need that anymore. So let's take, uh, let me ungroup these and then we're going to take these three tracks and replace them here where we have our uh, EQ, uh, I'm sorry, our uh, effects, our delay, reverb. So, and to do that, I'm going to create a layer. So we're going to add a layer for the guitar. We're going to add a layer for the lead vocal and we're going to add a layer for the hook lead and then we're just going to replace them so let's take the guitar I'm just going to drop it up here lead vocal and the hook lead Now I just dropped those wherever. Can uh select these and uh, select the move to origin to get them back to where they were. Okay, so now I've got the uh, processed guitar, processed lead vocal, and the hook lead. And if we expand the layers. You can see I've got the old one there under it. And so that's how I, I print my tracks. I put them back in the Studio One and I replace the old, old ones with them. Now, looking at the uh, guitar track, uh, as you can see, I've already, I've killed all of my plugins on the track because I don't need them anymore. I've already recorded uh, the sound of the hardware and the plugin because on the lead vocal I have I had the uh, RDS or no, I can take that off now I don't need it because I've already recorded that DS or through the track uh, so that's a quick tip for you if you're using analog gear uh, this is how you can uh, record your uh, export your files process through the analog gear get them back into studio one and just use them to replace your old files and keep a copy of them just in case you need to get back there and before we go let's take a quick listen to uh, everything uh, with the effects that we have all right, I'll catch y'all next time. I don't think you're ever coming back. I thought our love was on the right track. I apologize, it's all my fault. I never meant to hurt you. I got.